You could have done what I'd done, but you ain't know what I'm on. In the track, tryna double it up. I've just listened to Looney F with this G, and I swear to God, I didn't think I was gonna make it through that reaction. There's no way. <sighs> this is flip top Looney versus Mark Grist. Or Grist. Apparently, I think Mark Grist is from the UK, it's a rap battle. Almost half an hour or 25 minutes long. So we're not even we're not even doing the introduction. We're not even doing nothing. Guess what we're doing? We're playing it straight away. That's what we're doing. We're going, we're going, we're going. I don't know about Mark Grist, but us Looney, he got balls. He got some word plays, so eh. Um, Looney won the coin toss. He picked Mark Grist to go first. Let's hear this shit, man. First round, Mark Grist. Flip top, Kamusta! Prepping for this match was torture. Eric, he's definitely from England. <laughs> he is. I'm from England, bro, so I know when I hear it. He's from the UK. Prepping for this match was torture. Eric, I can't thank you more. You took me on a massive tour. This land is gorgeous. He even shared his battle formula. The way you prep is mad important. Pegasus, Air Force One, and Happy Sauna. I was nervous, but they were very nice. They said he goes there every night <laughs> is he talking about like um i don't really know what pegasus and the, the thing is but is he talking about like uh the hookers like where the hookers go and stuff like that <laughs> is he talking about every that? night <laughs> and now this punk is what he gets me just some bum who thinks he's destined to be worshipped for his earnings mate your money don't impress me i'll punch you in a frenzy till i'm rupturing your belly pull your guts out hang intestines from the rafters and the belfry i'll drink your blood boy what wait a minute mark till i'm rupturing your belly pull your guts out hang intestines from the rafters and the belfry i'll drink your blood like it was sherry crush your nuts into confetti then i'll ring your crush your nuts into confetti you know what a confetti is boy Crushing nuts into confetti. Free, I'll drink your blood like it was sherry. Crush your nuts into confetti. Then I'll ring your girl and yell, We've saved a bunch upon our wedding. It's it's gonna get real messy, but a knife, the machete. This puppy's blood will spark, but first, I'd love to get a selfie. Would that be alright? <laughs> now now you just being a fan. It's showing appreciation, but when you're in a battle, you're in a battle to kill, you know? As leave all of that for the end. I know it's a part of the act and stuff, but God damn it. You already lost if you do that type of stuff. You already lost. It's very nice, son. <laughs> Unless this is a part of the act. Thank you. See, for a while now, I've been trying to take a bunch of shots to illustrate the lowest ebbs of human nature. Sober things. <laughs> No, no, that makes sense because if he was only taking a selfie because he's a fan, he's already lost. But he used he, that's his a part of his performance. Okay, so and fair play to Looney to play along because he could have said no, and then after what he's at least he would have to have a plan B if he said no, I'm not taking no photos with you to say something else. But he just played perfectly for him, you know. But he's so confident in himself, Looney, that he did it and he played along with it anyway. So. You should be scared if someone do that. Sober things, sober things that make me think I'm lucky. Life's okay, yeah? You know, like a dog that's lost its tail, or a guy who's missed the train, or a bunch of guys I've met who've been sleeping rough for days. But that one picture of your face, that is proper fucking failure. I mean... That other stuff is really bad, but that could be my screensaver. I mean, no one would fall in love with this. You look like a deflated puffer fish. One, one eye closed, shite closed, hair on your chin that's like a goat's, nostrils so far apart they each have their own time zones. I mean, those are wide. I bet when you... He's gonna, he's gonna kill him. Oh my God. See, you weren't all that subtle. Did you dig the finger in right up to the knuckle? Did you lift it and... Wait a minute. You weren't all that subtle. Did you dig... One... 
One eye closed, shite closed, hair on your chin that's like a goat's, nostrils so far apart they each have their own time zones. I mean, those are wide. I bet when you picked it, you weren't all that subtle. Did you dig the finger in right up to the knuckle? Did you lift it and spin it? Did you get your whole fist in? Did you hammer in both like some pneumatic pistons? Whenever you sniff, does the furniture drift in? I heard... I heard... When you sniff, does the furniture drift in? That means your nose is so big, you can... When you sniff the air, you're pulling the furniture towards you. <laughs> what the fuck? That is crazy. Up his grandma when she lent in to kiss him. When you're out on a mission, if the wind starts to pick in, does it fill up with dogs and cats and pigeons? I heard at weekends, if he's got a spare hour to fit in, he likes to install the odd art exhibition. It's a wide nose. Plus, that cap and shaved head are quite scary, you know. But I'd shave. Uh, I could. I swear to God, there's no way. Me personally, I, I don't know how people pick this as a profession. I know there's a certain line you might not want to cross, but I think a rapper will have no boundaries. If correct me if I'm wrong. Cause I used to listen to Arsenal. Arsenal, type in Arsenal UK rap battle versus anyone. He is like one of the UK most top rap battle um performer, yeah? And I'm telling you, rap battling, not, not even rap battling, what do they call this? Just battle. He has no holes bars. Anything goes and how do you even take it man? You have to have a different type of art, you know, it's crazy Too if my hair didn't grow. I mean, it's a wide nose Plus that cap and shaved head are quite scary, you know, but I'd shave my hair too if my hair didn't grow I mean come on don't be surprised that cap's there because he needs it. We all know the truth. Your hairline's receding. If he took that thing off, if he took that thing off, you could see it retreating. I guess it's not just Sony Records that wants to up and leave him. And the don't listen. Now you have to eat him because that's a bit personal right there. That is personal. He did a whole background research and check on you, Looney. He did his research and you... Sony Records that wants to up and leave him. And no, don't listen to them. You don't need no cosmetics. You're like a one-man Filipino Venice. Just with the nostrils of an evil ferret and the hairline of Magneto's helmet. Oh. Time! <laughs> Make some noise! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was good. That was that was good. That was. Good. <laughs> You're a battle rapping teacher, according to the pamphlets, but no one's looking forward to your matches because they're as boring as your classes. <laughs> he likes to call himself a. Uh, Metaphorical assassin. Bro, you're such an adorable faggot. <laughs> I should send this foreigner's body to the corner after using his four-wheeler bag as a portable casket. You're a full-time teacher, right? Fly-by rapper. You can't kick it with me, Grist. I'm a Muay Thai master. The type to body bag you and give you a high five after, especially if you're asking for it. Like the Wi-Fi password. Bro, <laughs> you're a school teacher, bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a school teacher. You Basically, if you're a pot, bro, if you're in this part time, you, you, you're not on his level. Like, <laughs> listen, listen. Get with me, Grist. I'm a Muay Thai master. The type to body bag you and give you a high five after, especially if you're asking for it. Like the Wi Fi password. <laughs> Now you really think that you can win here with your nice guy swagger? Nice try, Cracker. <laughs> you should have worn that suit and tie designed with a tie-dye pattern and a t-shirt inside that says, White Lives Matter. <laughs> I hope you fucking... That right there. That right there. You see, you know when I said that bottle rapping has no boundaries? You can't say that in a normal rap and... Think slide, but battle rap is just you can say whatever it is, bro. 
It's crazy. It's just mad. I don't know how is it possible. Now you really think that you can win here with your nice guy swagger? Nice try, Cracker. You should have worn that suit and tie designed with a tie-dye pattern and a t-shirt inside that says, White Lives Matter. I hope you fucking die of cancer, you liney bastard. Listen here. <laughs> I hope you die of cancer. Let me fix this thing, because... You're asking for it, like the Wi-Fi password. <laughs> now, you really think that you can win here with your nice guy swagger? Nice try, cracker. <laughs> you should have worn that suit and tie designed with a tie-dye pattern and a t-shirt inside that says... White lives matter. I hope I you. I don't think you guys understand. He did the English accent so when he said matter. He he's basically mocking him and speaking in a British slang. I hope you do understand that. That's what he's doing right now. And die of cancer, you liney bastard! Listen here, you little British prick. <laughs> Fuck your fish and chips. <laughs> Over here in the Philippines, we got fish and chips. <laughs> now, what you know about that motherfucking deal is crisps. Bro, listen, I don't know how you know this, but it's true. The fish and chips here, bro, it's like a national... It's, 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 if you're from England and you don't have fish and chips on a Friday, sometimes... It's, I'm not from England, but I know about fish and chips, right? But if you're a real British, mate, they are proud of their fish and chips, I'm telling you. Yo, last time I was in London, I tried ordering my lunch in. <clears throat> Sausages, muffins, porridge with some crumpets. The food was borderline disgusting. And for the record, most of your women are either oversized or ugly. And I bet you bloody wankers don't even have the bollocks to colonize this country. In it, bruv. In it, bruv. <laughs> he even did the flipping in it, bruv. What the fuck? How does he know all of these inside jokes? Because everything he's saying, like, when you say, like, in it, bruv, South London accent, where I'm from, it's like, how does Looney know all this stuff? <laughs> now, even if I lose, I consider this shit grist for the mill. But he just came here for my views. <laughs> It's literally grist for the mill. So I guess that a million is cool for this British buffoon and his illiterate students sitting in school. But listen up, dude. You know how this battle gets triple the views? I don't mean to be a bit of a douche, but get on the ground right now and start kissing my shoes. <laughs> Time. Disgusting. But I feel like Mark when all out in the first round, Looney is just warming up. <clears throat> There's no way Mark can get better than what he did first. And I feel like Looney's just gonna take it, take it, take it. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you are more famous. You're a celebrity, dude. You saved Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. And you said London. That's not where I live. I bet you think your girl's G-spot's on her left eyelid. I just battled protege. You should know your fucking place. I'll beat you back to back to back like Joe did Drake. And you know it, mate. You should be protege's protege. And you think the, ch and you think the crowd chanting your name is something I fear, bro? Nah, Jose Vizel was a real fucking hero. And he'd hate the kind of writer you are. The king of rhyme. He said online in the star, I can rhyme with anything. My rhyming's so sharp. Like I could rhyme whole bottle. And my, when you start, I got whole bottle, I got role model, I got throttle, I got wobble wobble. <laughs> oh, the majesty, the gravity, I'm amazed, I'm in awe, such rhyming magic. He's like a Filipino Dumbledore. That's... <laughs> That's rhyming at his essence. So insightful, such invention. I mean, I've never heard anyone use I got wobble wobble in a sentence. And yet, and yet you rhymed it with whole bottle. 
Wobble, wobble. So awful. Waffle, waffle. And he's so quick to claim that he's big in the game. A gangster who hangs with the baddest you've met. Yeah, Looney's so cool. In an old interview, claimed his main inspiration is Alanis Morissette. Yeah, Alanis Morissette. How fucking gangster can you get? He... He heard Jagged Little Pill, found it insightful. He loves that CD, keeps it clutched like a Bible. When he heard a UK artist was coming to fight, all he could think was, I hope it's a Spice Girl. <laughs> he didn't okay, that's a good one. Listen much to Grime or Rap or Eminem. Well, sometimes you can. You did listen all the time to Stan. He loves those bits where Dido sang. And don't you think it's funny that you heard a woman singing about mediocre men who try to keep her quiet and the content of her work spurred you on to be the linchpin of a whole scene where women don't compete, where they stay silent. I mean, that's a little bit ironic, don't you think? <laughs> And your material on women is so played out and greasy. On top of that, mate, it's so fucking easy. Like, I'll come round to your crib tonight. Your girl, she wants my dick inside her. Afterwards, I'll go home, write a shit review on TripAdvisor. Jesus Christ. How does they do the whole... Do they, how, how do they not fight each other? He said he would go home, use... He would go to his house, use his girl... I then come back home and give a review and trip advisor because he went like how did Jesus Chip Advisor is a website you go to give reviews and hotels that you go to abroad and you go and stay on a holiday and stuff like that. So you get what bro Jesus. my dick inside afterwards I'll go home write a shit review on trip advisor. I'm sorry, guys. I don't um, think majority of those people get what he just said. Apologize, but that is ninety percent of what you write. Oh, so he's copying him. Okay. Oh, t t t Filipino time. <laughs> 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 And I didn't understand a single thing you said to me, man, but fuck you too. <laughs> you see, researching for this British gun wasn't really fun. I typed in the best of more grist, and guess what, bruv? There isn't one. Yo, I tried Googling this bitch, and I felt like I was clicking for ages. And then finally, more grist after 17 pages. <laughs> Another desperate, aging, irrelevant, nameless beggar with elephantiasis. Jesus. And judging by the melanin and the freckles on his face, you can definitely tell that he's racist. Mm. I bet you like to touch kids on a regular basis. <laughs> you should be investigated by federal agents for having sexual relations with seventh grade Asians. <laughs> You're a fucking immature asshole who likes fucking immature assholes. <laughs> Pedophile. Do you? <laughs> oh, he just explained what he just said, right? I was just about to explain what he meant, but he explained it. Fucking immature assholes. <laughs> Pedophile. <laughs> he may look like a decent guy, but deep inside, he's got an evil side. The one with a smeagol smile. <laughs> That's right. Pedophile. <laughs> now... I want you to be advised that nobody in here cares to understand those European rhymes. And if somebody ever claps or reacts, I won't be surprised because 9 out of 10 is probably just my Filipino peoples being nice. Because your skin is white. You have a face that says, I'm insecure about my penis size. I hope the last remaining members of the Beatles die just so I can see you cry. Well... You know, in, in England, we, the Beatles are like Jesus to, to the people that lives here. If you talk about a rap band, you're talking about the Beatles. If you don't talk about the Beatles, no one cares. But that what he just says, Jesus Christ. Oh. He done his research. Bro. Last remaining members of the Beatles die just so I could see you cry. <laughs> they will, you will cry. This fucking white geek is in trouble. When I beast your live feed in the jungle where I eat. 
If you wanted more views, you should have doubled my fee. But you'll never reach the likes of someone like me, faggot. <clears throat> Go on! Um, okay, before I start, seriously, Eric, thanks a lot, man. You really hooked me up. Now, Eric here gets a ton of love. Comes to you, though. Not so much. A lot of the battlers hate him. They always say the same things. He's greedy, hates this scene, and he won't do shit if you don't pay him. If you ain't got cash, you're blown off. He's all about his own costs. At first, I figured, well, so what? Like, he clearly needs a nose job. But they took me to one side, and more reports start coming through. You're slipping on your tightrope. No safety net. You're falling through. You want rescuing? These guys won't, because each of them is bored of you, cheating for those high notes like your Britney Spears' auto-tune. You back... Cheating for these high notes, like the high notes on your Britney track, like your Britney Spears audio-tune, because her... See, the audio tune is helping her hitting the high notes in the song. <laughs> For those high notes, like your Britney Spears' auto tune. You backstabbing, cash grabbing, sack of crap, or gas and branding. Anyone wanted actual help, he wouldn't do a damn thing. He cheats and lies, he really likes to see how fucked you are. The king of rhyme. Nah, Lion King. And it's clear your uncle Scar. And the first. First time it all went his way, he packed up his bags and toured around the States. And so, yeah, it turns out your tour wasn't great. I mean, how many was it? Like, four people came. I mean, uh, no lying, no porkies today. That's why they ain't asked you to tour it again. They paid for your comforts, and look how you thanked them. The money he makes investing in abandoning all of you guys for gold wigs and handguns. He keeps facing West like a compass that's stamped on. It's all Western artists, he says, that inspired him. It's all Western references inside your writing. You don't like this country, these people? That's fine, but that is the truth, boy. Why try and deny it? Round here, while well, they struggle for food on the street, he's at Trump Tower, reduced to his knees guzzling, suckling, refusing to eat till Donald Trump's pubes are removed from his teeth. I do not know who is winning. Jesus Christ, I don't Ain't got no balls, ain't got no courage. He saw all the suffering, just figured, fuck it. One sniff from the West, just watch him go running. I won't be surprised if you hide in my luggage. I'm finished. <laughs> I'm finished with this kid who sees my passport as a thing of dreams. He'd pack up all his things and leave, ignoring what's there in the scene. I mean, loony, mate. You're killing me. It's a symphony, such history. The love and warmth is in these streets. I mean it, mate. I don't want to leave. I fucking love the Philippines. Whoa. Just throw it away. I know he's going to get that back. This gig's been dope. I don't want to go, but it's time to bring this thing to close. If you're smart, you'll know how the multi goes. Putang in a mole! <laughs> Yo! That pathetic piece of performance art didn't move me at all like the royal guard. Man said that perfect piece of performance art didn't move me at all like the royal god. Have you ever went on YouTube and typed in royal god for the Queen of England? The guys are dressed in a the red and black with a black hat on their head. No matter what happened, they will not move. They will stand still until their time to change their shift. Even if he shout, even if make a joke, even if he hit them, they will not move. Jesus Christ. Yo! That pathetic piece of performance art didn't move me at all like the royal guard. I killed him in 90 seconds like a poisonous dart. I ain't got no problem stalking the mark. He's like a prostitute in Lunetta. Just another walk in the park. It's pretty awkward, eh? I don't know. What the accent is killing me. It's pretty awkward, eh? I don't know what to say, but I guess standing in front of you makes me want to talk this way. <laughs> don't flop all day. That little league's whack. That's why he's here in the Philippines trying to make his mark on the Philippine map with his Mr. Bean swag. <laughs> I'm the president. The Punisher's bringing the guillotine back. You're about to fade away like that skinny jean fad. This mismatch is a mishap. I'm predicting this will be bad. Kinda like Duterte's middle finger against the British Queen's twat. Now it's pretty. Jesus Christ. 
Christ almighty. I cannot comment on that. I'm sorry. If you don't understand, you don't. I can't do that. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth, bro. You can't He's twat! <laughs> now, it's pretty obvious that I'm about to body this faggot-ass battle rap hobbyist with action Bronson tits. You're way past your prime, but still you're an optimist. Stop it, Grist! You're older than a floppy disk. <laughs> you don't remember floppy disk? <laughs> oh my god! We don't use that no more, bro. We use we got mainstream now. You're older than a floppy disk. <laughs> you you got beat by definition and a fucking retard. That makes you the perfect definition of a fucking retard. <laughs> Now I know that nobody in here gets it, and I respect it, but accepting this battle was a big mistake, and he regrets it like Brexit. Oh. Now check. <laughs> oh yes, we regret. The UK has been regretting coming out of Brexit, man. Ever since we leave Brexit, it's been a hell. It was a big mistake, and he regrets it like Brexit. Oh. Now check it. I'm a legend. They refer to me as Alamat. I'm about to crush this ginger and turn him into Salabat. I don't understand what that is. I don't know. Crush this ginger and turn him into Salabat. <laughs> but for my final bars, I have a different battle plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's talking the way he expected him to talk when Filipino or someone that doesn't really know English talk you know from you from the philippines that he's mocking it i will use my jollibee call center accent so everyone can understand <laughs> i'm here to leave a lasting impression on mark like a cattle brand break his heart like a thunder fan because i'm teacher's enemy number one <laughs> tagalog or english i'm flexible like a rubber band you want to mortal combat with me mr russell brand i'm like goro with the four arms i got the upper hand <laughs> Now this is something that you cannot extinguish. It's gruesome when I depict this and you cannot distinguish. Do you know what else rhymes with distinguish? Extinguish? Relinquish? Tsaka pukin ang inan yung mga British na ubusan na ako ng English! Tagalugin ko na lang? Tagalugin ko na lang? Tatagalugin ko na lang para sa kapakanan ng mga tulad ni Badang. Dude, you need to speak English, man. Oh. Ikaw, ikaw, boy tisoy, i-google mo na lang. Mas masarap pag Tagalog kasi mas paangas pag rekta. Manakawang ka sana ng mga bagat maleta sa... ...ay araneta at masagasaka ka sana sa kalsada sa EDSA. <laughs> Ito na ba yung pinadala nilang panlaban sa gera? Ha? Wala namang kwenta. Isa ka namang napakalaking sagabal, punyeta. Huwag ka nang umasa pa, repa. Tapos na ang karera. Di ka na makakabuelta. Hindi mo alam? Umuwi ka na lang. Salamat sa pera. <laughs> and, and the thing is, after the performance, they're all fine because then... But I don't know how you can say all these things, though. It's crazy. And just say it's, it's a part of the performance. It's crazy. The things that they say to each other is mad. I held my own in there. Like, I gave them some problems. And I worked the crowd. I did get the crowd. They were on side. That was all right. That was all right. I'll take it. I came out here to learn about what, what battling's all for you, so. <laughs> yeah, but no man that one was sick bro if there's any more rap battle out there that's in english as well let me know <sighs> you gotta tell me who the winner is it's for me they're both i'm i'm not really into the rap battling but i used to list watch arsenal and stuff like that so i can't really compare you know and especially that looney was speaking you know what i mean different language when he at the end so I, the crowd really get what he says and i didn't get there's no english translation but if you like these type of videos let me know in the comment section below 
if you like these content that I create on this channel show your support by slapping up that like button subscribe to the channel for more content like this it's been your boy speak your homie peace